Hi, Ashley. Hi, Juan. Hi, Diana. Hi, Diana. I was planning to practice in here. Do you mind? We don't mind. We don't mind. It'll be fun for us. Here. <sighs> hmm. Can a cat take a little cat nap without someone blowing low notes in his ear? <sighs> Hi, Arpeggio. I was just practicing my tuba playing. You know, a musician has to practice to be at her best. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I was just saying the same thing the other day. I haven't chased a mouse in weeks, and if I don't start practicing soon, I may lose my touch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, arpeggio. Oh. Sorry. Hey, what kind of instrument is that anyway, hmm? Do you really want to know? Oh, yeah. I, I'm wide awake now. I'm really curious. Hmm, 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 hmm. This is a tuba. Hmm. And a tuba is a member of the brass family of instruments. I have a lot of brass instruments with me today. I'd like to show you a couple more. Oh, boy. <sighs> First... I'd like to show you the trombone. Ooh. Mm -hmm. The trombone sounds like this. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. Mm. I have another brass instrument I'd like to show you right now. What, 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 what? This is a trumpet. <gasps> it sounds like this. Mm. Gee, how do you make a sound on those things, hmm? How do you think I make a sound? Hmm. Well, I, I think you just blow air into them, and um, um, that's it. Hey, you want to try blowing air into the trumpet and see what happens? <laughs> no, no, but you go ahead. Go right oh, ahead. Oh, <laughs> come on, Arpeggio. You can do it. Uh, oh, uh, come on, uh, come on. Oh, all right. I'll help you. I'll help you. I'll hold the trumpet up. You take a big breath and blow. Okay. Mm. <sighs> <sighs> You know, it probably didn't work because I'm a cat, and cats don't usually play trumpets, do they? Huh. Well, then I'll try it. Okay. <sighs> well, 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 well. You seem to be having a problem, too. Maybe you need to practice a little more. Hmm? Well, Arpeggio, air is only part of what makes a brass instrument sound. I actually make the sound by buzzing my lips and blowing air into the mouthpiece, like this. Boy, could you try to be a little more careful, please? Sorry, Arpeggio. Everyone try buzzing your lips. With just the trumpet mouthpiece and the vibration of my lips, I can make music. I'll show you. That, hmm? Remember the practicing we were talking about? Mm -hmm. Well, that's part of it. I can also practice on the trombone mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Sounds good. Thank you. Or on the tuba mouthpiece. Mm. The tuba mouthpiece sounds a little different. Ooh. <laughs> these instruments are made of tubing. I have an idea. I wonder if we could make an instrument. Let's see. I think if I take this old garden hose... Deanna, this is no time to be watering the lawn. Oh, I'm not going to water the lawn, Arpeggio. I'm going to show you how brass instruments work. Juan and Ashley, can you come up here and help me? And if we hold the hose, Juan, you could hold down here. And hold that way high in the air so that Arpeggio can hear too, of course. Hmm. So now, I have the buzzing of my lips and I have some tubing. Are you ready? Mm hmm Okay. <laughs> Wow! That was amazing! It even starts to sound like an instrument, but it's not very loud. I would really like for my hose instrument to be a little louder. I wonder what would happen if I added this old oil funnel. Hmm. I what don't do you, know. What would what do happen? Think? Do you think it'll be louder? Let's see. I don't know. Thank you, Ashley. So Ashley has put the oil funnel into the hose. I have the buzzing of my lips, tubing, and the oil funnel. Let's see. <laughs> wow! What a difference! Wow! It really does make a difference. It makes it so much louder. Mm -hmm. Now. If I take my hose and, well, actually, I'm going to roll it up because I can't take Ashley and Juan with me every time I want to play my instruments. No. So if I roll it up, it makes it more portable. And it even starts to look like an instrument. Actually, Ashley and Juan, will you please hold this instrument? The hose instrument actually looks like an instrument that I have here. It looks like the French horn. Wow, it really, really does. Yes, it has a mouthpiece, tubing, and a bell, just like the hose instrument. Let's see how it sounds. I bet it sounds similar, too. <laughs> Neat! It sounds almost the same! Wow, it does! Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Juan, for your help. Great job. Fantastic. Aha! Now we know why a brass instrument has the tubing all wound up. If I were to unroll my tuba, for example, it would be 12 feet long. Now, a wrapped-up hose has no keys to push, which is really something like the bugle. The bugle has a mouthpiece, tubing, and a bell. But a trumpet has keys to push so I can play many different notes. And a trumpet is like playing seven different bugles in one instrument. Now the trombone is really something like the bugle in that it has no keys, but it can play many different notes because it has a slide. I can play a low note by making the slide long. 
or play a high note by making the slide short. Now, if an instrument is very large, what kind of sound will it have? Yeah. Arp, are you paying attention? Oh, 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 sure, sure. Um, um, if you unwrap your tuba, it would be 12 feet long, right? <laughs> that was a while ago, but okay, that's true. Now, if the trombone and tuba are so big, how will they sound? Oh, <laughs> they'll sound because you buzz your lips, silly. Oh, arpeggio. <laughs> Will they sound high or low? Um, mm, mm, is this a trick question? Children? Low. That's right. They will sound low. The tuba can play the lowest notes of the brass instrument. Let's see how low the tuba can go. And as funny as the tuba can sometimes be, it can play some lovely melodies. anyone ever think about making instruments like this, hmm? Instruments that are related to brass instruments have been used for thousands of years, even back to the time of the caveman. The caveman may have used an instrument like this, the seashell, or the conch shell. The conch shell is related to the brass instruments because it has a mouthpiece, tubing on the inside, and a bell, a place for the sound to come out. Now, the caveman may have used the conch shell as a means of communication. Maybe something like this. Kids! Oh, cave kids! Come home for dinner! If we travel to the land of the Vikings, they may have used instruments that are related to the brass instruments also. Something like the bull's horn. Now this is related to the brass instrument because it has a mouthpiece, tubing, and a bell. They may have used it in this way, to signal or communicate. Maybe something like this. In search of the ship approaching, ship ahoy, ship ahoy! <laughs> If we travel to Australia, you may find an instrument like this that people have played there for hundreds of years. It's related to the brass instrument because it has a mouthpiece made of beeswax, tubing made of cactus, and a bell. Let's hear what the didgeridoo sounds like. So you see, through the ages, people have found a way to make wonderful sounds by buzzing their lips and blowing. 
Well, the trombone, the tuba, the trumpet, and the horn. We were meant to be in band since the day we were born. I do the brass rap. The funky brass rap. Now this is the trumpet. It's tiny and cool. It's easy to carry when you're walking to school. When I say tiny, you say trumpet. Tiny. Trumpet. Tiny. Trumpet. When I say trumpet, you say tiny. Trumpet. Tiny. Trumpet. Tiny. tiny. Oh yeah. Let me tell you a little bit about my friend, the trombone. It goes a little something like this. Well, when I play the trombone, I'm never alone. Playing lots of notes with the slide so long. When I say slide, you say trombone. Slide. Trombone. Slide. Trombone. When I say trombone, you say slide. Trombone. Slide. Trombone. Slide. Yeah, Arp. Yeah, yeah. I love to rap. I'd like to tell you a little bit about my friend, the tuba. Goes a little something like this. Well, I play the big tuba, I keep the beat. I make everybody want to move their feet. When I say big, you say tuba. Big. Tuba. Big. Tuba. When I say tuba, you say big. Tuba. Big. Tuba. Big. Yeah, fantastic. I'd like to tell these people, just as a little reminder again, well, it goes a little something like this. The trombone, the tuba, the trumpet, and the horn. We were meant to be in band since the day we were born. I do the brass rap. The funky brass rap. I do the brass rap. The funky brass rap. Although the tube is a big instrument, mm -hmm. it can play pretty fast. Mm. That is, if you practice. Oh. This piece is called The Flight of the Bumblebee. Can you imagine a bumblebee flying when you hear this? Hmm. A bumblebee. <laughs> How did you do that? By buzzing my lips and blowing. Remember? <gasps> Deanna, Deanna, you are so wonderful. You really know how to buzz. <laughs> hey. Hi, Arpeggio. Guess what? What? I was just thinking, bees know how to buzz, too. They do. Do you think? that a bee could play the tuba? <laughs> I, I just don't know. Bees are pretty small. Well, it'd either take a very strong bee or a very small tuba. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. Oh, Ashley and Juan, we had so much fun learning about brass instruments, didn't we? Yeah, a lot of fun. It was great. Could you believe that garden hose? I couldn't believe it. Who'd have that... thunk it, eh? <laughs> I never would have thought a garden hose would have sounded so much like a horn. It was amazing. Hmm. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was when Deanna played the brass instrument out of the hose. Mm -hmm.